Um, I now want to move on to my own constituency. The local um, air quality profile is particularly poor. We have the A4, the M4, the A316, which is the London end of the M3, all passing through our area. And it's, our area is frequently in breach of air quality limits. Um, one, our schools are, are, are awake, uh, alert to this issue. St Mary's Chiswick, one of two schools alongside the A4 and one of 50 schools across London identified as needing an air quality audit by the London Mayor. They're now looking at a green wall uh, on the wall against the A4 uh, and air purifiers, but both these cost money to install and to maintain. Uh, and without action by local and regional and national government, then St Mary's children will continue to breathe in air that's poisoning them as they learn and play. Now, the government has already lost three legal challenges on its air, uh, air quality policies, uh, not unconnected with Heathrow. So, all, um, there's, a, there's a growing evidence of the ground impact of pollution from planes themselves, as I've already mentioned. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, I will conclude by saying how is expanding Heathrow in an area of the country already, already in, consistently in breach of legal limits on air quality doing anything to stop the UK going back to becoming the dirty man of Europe?